Hey, you guys, it's me, Christiana Gaudet. Today is Friday the 13th. I am here, as I am every Friday, to do your Friday weekly wrap-up. Uh, but because it's Friday the 13th and because it's been a hell of a week, I thought we would spend some time uh, doing readings and, and talking about what's going on in the world. If you're watching in archive on Facebook or YouTube, welcome, glad you're here. This is being recorded live on my Facebook business page, Christiana Gaudet, uh, on Friday the 13th, uh, March 13th, 2020. Uh, so thank you guys so much for being here and for watching. So when we did our reading for the week on Monday, uh, what came up was the idea of spreading love without spreading germs. And what we're seeing, of course, over the course of this week is that uh, a global pandemic has been named uh, by the World Health Organization. And I'm thinking, you know, this is the, the first time. Hey, Tricia, nice to see you here. This is like, I mean, I'm going to be 58 this year. And this is the weirdest thing that I have seen in my entire life life, you know? And now from a business perspective, I've been doing full-time tarot readings for more than 25 years. Uh, I've done it through 9-11, which was a, a huge crisis and a terrible time. Through the recession of 2008, also a very difficult time. And now we're coming into this. And so I wanted to share some perspective um, you know, which is, it, it all depends on how it affects you. If you lose a loved one in this, if you suffer real financial devastation in this, it's going to be a very difficult thing. And it, it is certainly a difficult thing for the planet. And it's weird right now to see so many things canceled. Disneyland and Disney World closing, Broadway closing. It's weird. But you know what? If we take these preventative measures now, and if that saves lives, and that controls this quickly, which I think it will, it's a good thing. And so I'm sort of thinking, well, gee, if we have to spend more time on our own at home for a couple of weeks or a couple of months even, you know, what are we going to do? I'm going to practice my guitar and my ukulele, something I don't get a whole lot of time to do. And of course, we can play with our tarot cards, and that's always a good thing. So let me say hi to some people who are here. TK, nice to see you. Lori, Amy, T, Betty, Deirdre, Neil. Um, <laughs> Amy says, thanks for the wisdom and perspective during a challenging time. It is challenging. And I think the key is, you know, we talk about fear. And I don't want to do fear shaming. You know, it is scary. On the other hand, if we live in fear and react with fear, we may not make the best decisions. We have to look at this as something that is unfortunate, is difficult, but for most of us will pass. You know, we will get through this. Just like we've gotten through other things, we got to be strong, we got to be smart, and we have to have each other's backs. That's really what it's all about. Hey, Dana, nice to see you here. So, as we do every week, it's the Friday Weekly Wrap-Up, and it is interesting. It's Friday the 13th, isn't it? Hey, Jerry, nice to see you here. So, the first thing we're going to do is uh, some cards, and I'm, I'm going to do this a little differently. Miguelina, nice to see you. Uh, we're going to do some cards for what's going on in the world, and then we're going to do individual cards. What we do on Fridays is the weekly wrap-up, looking at the week that was for each person. How'd you do? What did you learn? What can you take into the weekend and going into the next week? So if you would like a wrap-up reading, I'm going to get to as many people as I can. Uh, just go ahead and ask in the comments. But let's talk a little bit about this week being really an historic 
week, how often is a global pandemic declared, right? This was historic. And it's interesting that it's Friday the 13th. I love Friday the 13th. I do not see it in any way as an unlucky day, quite the opposite. I see it as a very lucky day. And I feel lucky to be able to be speaking with you here today. So thanks so much for being here. So, Marion, nice to see you. Happy Friday the 13th. Uh, Betty, we will absolutely uh, do a weekly wrap up for you. So first of all, you know, just overall, Semra, nice to see you. Glad you're here. So when we look at the week that was <laughs> in general, uh, what do we see here? Seven of Swords. You know, this was a scary ass week. It really was. So often when I see the Seven of Swords, it's not about necessarily people being dishonest or it can be. And one thing I notice right now is a lot of people are accusing people of being dishonest. The media is being dishonest. Um, the whole thing's a hoax. Yeah, no, I don't think so. The governments are being dishonest. And I think we have to be very careful about being accusatory. But the other thing with the Seven of Swords, and you tarot people take note, the Seven of Swords can talk about health issues. And especially those things that are unseen, like viruses and germs that threaten us. And so this can really speak to fear. This has been a week of fear, a week of not knowing what or whom to trust. And I think, you know, the hard thing is really we need to put our faith into two things. One is science and the other is spirituality. And so often I think people will say, well, those two things can't exist together. If your spiritual thinking is such that it cannot exist with science, then you need to rethink what you believe in. Because truly, spirituality and science, I think, can go hand in hand. Uh, regardless of what your beliefs and culture are, it should all work together, shouldn't it? And I think those are the things we have to put our faith in right now. So let's see what we got here. We've got a lot of people already lining up. I'll get to as many people as I can. If you would like a weekly wrap-up reading, go ahead and uh, get your name on the list. I will get to as many as I can. Okay, and we are going to start with Betty, first one in. Good to see you here, Betty. Glad you're here. So Betty, when we look at your week, Knight of Swords, hey, you didn't let the weird vibes get to you this week too badly, did you? You have moved forward. You have tried to stay focused on what you know, on what is true, on uh, what you need to do and doing the right thing. Gold star for Betty. You have done very well. And as you go forward, recognize you're smart, you're capable, you have integrity, you know how to get things done. You will be fine. Very good. Hey, Lori, how was your week? Let's see what we got here. Lori, justice. This is for Lori Hahn. Justice, so I feel like you also, just like Betty, really are trying to do the right thing. You're trying to stay balanced. You're trying to take care of the people you care about, trying to take care of yourself, trying to do everything the right way. Hallelujah, man. If the world is made up of people like Betty and Lori, we are going to be just fine. And Lori, I think this just says keep on doing what you're doing. You are handling it, and you are doing okay. Deidre, how are you doing? Good to see you. Let's see what we've got here. Hey, Three of Cups, this reminds you that you have great friends and great people around you. They're with you last week. They'll be with you next week. Enjoy the people that you care about. And in this time of social distancing, I know that we can't gather in big groups right now. I went to a concert on Friday, uh, February 28th, and I recognize it'll probably be my last concert for a while. Those of you who know me know I love live music. So there are some things we're going to have to give up for a little while. But for you, Deirdre, I know you love live music too. 
enjoy your friends. And if you can't get together in person, get together like we are getting together now. Okay, TK. Let's see what we see for you, TK. The star reversed. You know, the star is one of those cards that even in reversal, it's pretty positive. Things may not have gone exactly the way you wanted them to go this week, but you did fine. You're doing okay. Things will be okay in your world and have been going forward. Be aware, TK, that, you know, not everything has been satisfying to you. Not everything has been happy making this week, but basically you're okay and you will be. My good friend, Marion, nice to see you here. The Six of Wands. Marion, you are a winner no matter what. Whatever you did this week, whatever you accomplished, you did it well. You accomplished well. You are winning. You are moving forward. You are doing fine. You just need to know that about yourself. Oh, and Deandra says you have a local show tomorrow night. I hope, I hope it's cool and you're able to go there. Thank you so much. Okay, so Marion, you're a winner. Just know that you're a winner. Okay, Trisha. We know what Trisha's going to do if she has to stay home and, uh, and, and be socially distant. She's just going to be knitting faster and faster. Okay, Trisha. The five of pentacles reversed. I feel like there were some opportunities for you this week. That there may even be some opportunities to make money and to grow in your career that may have emerged this week or may be emerging soon. Very good. Very good. Miguelina, wrap it up for me, please. Now I've got that, that fabulous Thunderbird song, wrap it up, I'll take it, in my head. Maybe that should be my theme song for the Friday wrap-up. Okay, very good. Um, Miguelina, how was your week? Four of Swords. Are you, like, already sequestering yourself, Miguelina? It feels like maybe you're... On the spiritual side, maybe you're being meditative, maybe you're studying, maybe you're in retreat, that's fine. But this almost feels a little bit isolated. And if you've been feeling emotionally isolated, you know, that's the thing. If we're going to, <laughs> Miguelita says, do it, use the song. I know that'd be cool, right? Um, you know, we may all have to isolate a little during this crisis. But Miguelina, don't ever feel like you are emotionally alone. Always reach out to the people who are there for you. Even if we're not in physical proximity, hallelujah for technology. We are here for each other and we will be here for each other. So I hope you haven't been feeling too alone or too isolated this week. But if you have been, try not to do that next week. Okay, Simran, how are you doing? Let's take a look and see what's going on with you. How has your week been? The Emperor feels like you're taking care of responsibilities, doing the things you need to do, getting stuff done. Um, feels all good. It feels like you've had an okay week and you are in good shape going forward. So that feels really good. Okay, Vigietta, nice to see you. Glad you're here. Hey, another six of wands. You are winning, my friend. Whatever you've done this week, you have done a good job, and you need to feel like you've really accomplished something. So that's great. TK, speaking about my comment regarding science and spirituality, this is smart. Science is the matter. Spirituality is the energy. Heck yeah. Very good. Very good. Okay, T, my friend T, hope you're doing well. Let's see, how has your week been? Let's see. Ah, oh, T, the Two of Swords. This is such an interesting card because it can talk about decision-making and kind of figuring out what you're going to do next. And there could have been some of that for you. But it's also a card of being at peace with what is and taking time to look within 
And I think there's been some of that for you as well. Ah, oh, Betty's so sweet. I always learn something from you and always feel better. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, Brenda says yes. So I don't know, Brenda, if that was yes to something I was saying or yes saying you want a card, but guess what? You're getting a card. Okay, so this is for my friend Brenda Nicholas right down the road here. Okay, three of pentacles reversed. You may see some changes, Brenda, in your work and the way things are going for you. Do not worry too much financially, but be willing to go with the changes. And that may have already started this week. And that's okay. Use the time to grow creatively. I know you're a very creative person. All will be well. Jerry Lynn, nice to see you here. How was your week? Here is your weekly wrap up. Let's see what we got going on here. Okay, chariot reversed, maybe some cancellations, maybe some things not going the way that you had hoped. Maybe some trips or things not going the way you wanted because that's happening to everybody right now. And the key is just roll with the punches. It's okay. If you can't go that way, go this way. It'll be okay. Do not think that the changes that are happening will keep you from moving forward. Hey, Lisa McCord, haven't seen you in a while. Hope you're doing well. Here is your weekly wrap up. Oh, Ace of Pentacles. Did you have something great happen at work this week? Are you getting a raise, a promotion, something like that? Doesn't feel like a slowdown for you right now, Lisa. Feels like an opportunity for growth one way or the other. Okay. Hey, Carol. Good to see you. Um, here's your wrap up. And so we are on for Sunday. I know that we're limiting social gatherings and we may not be able to keep to our normal schedule, but this particular Sunday coming up, since there are no cases in uh, Martin County, we are going to have our meetup at Panera. Uh, we'll just bow and curtsy rather than hug each other when we see each other. That's Sunday, 4 o'clock at Panera. I don't know if we'll be able to have next month, but for this month, we are meeting, and I hope to see you there. Okay, so Carol, Ace of Wands reversed. It feels like you personally have not been feeling so well this week, so we hope you feel better. This can be about cultivating your energy, taking care of yourself so that you can have more energy later. Okay, TK, on the phone with your mom. Pick a card for her. Sure, TK's, TK's mom. Another four of swords. This is really about, for mom, I think, about resting, about meditating, about self-care, about having good boundaries with others. That's what's going to be important for mom. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we got going on here. Hey, Marsh, uh, Marcy, Marcy Lakin. Let's see what we got going on for you. Here's a card for you. Hey, Puck Smith, glad you made it. Okay, Marcy. Wow, you are the third person to get this card, and you guys see that I am shuffling. Marcy, you did fine this week. Six of Wands. You just got in there, did what you had to do. You get a gold star. Uh, you really are a winner, and you need to know it. That's the bottom line there. Okay, Cheryl Jefferson, nice to see you. Hey, Kristen, homesick. Glad to see you live. Hope you're feeling better soon. Uh, Wendy, happy Friday the 13th to you. Glad you're here. Uh, Lisa says, no, I'm in the travel industry. You know what? There is something good coming for you. It will be okay, I promise. Okay, very good. Yes, TK's mom and Miguelita are tarot twins today. Hey, Michael Wells, a card for my old buddy. Michael, you've been through some tough stuff recently. One thing after another, and please know that I, along with many people, have really been holding you in love and light. 
Here's a card for you, Michael Wells. Oh, right. Your tarot twins with Carol. The Ace of Wands reversed. You have not had your normal amount of energy and well-being recently, but never fear you are on the mend. We're going to turn this right side up for you, Michael. Hang in there. Hey, Kim Danberg, nice to see you. We shared a tarot student this week. Um, Mary Ann went to your place and also to mine. And so I was happy to make a connection there. And of course, all things being good, I'll be coming to teach at your place in June. And I'm really looking forward to that. Okay, you guys, I want to thank you all for being here. If we are, you know, more and more going to be hunkered down in our own homes, I promise you that I'll do more lives so that we can gather together as we are, because here we can share love, we can share wisdom, and not share germs. So I will be keeping in touch with all of you. I also want to remind you that I am available for readings by phone, Skype, FaceTime, Messenger. I also do mentoring. Wherever you are in your journey, I can help you get to the next level. And I am seeing clients here in Palm City for as long as we have no confirmed cases in Martin County. As soon as there are confirmed cases in Martin County, if that happens, I will be closing down to in-person visitors for that period of time. However, I will remain available uh, by, and you know what, beyond that, I'm also doing Duo, I'm doing WhatsApp. If you've got a, a way to do video, I'm going to do it with you, or we can just do the old-fashioned phone. Very good. Thank you guys so much. Hang in there. Have a great weekend. I'll look forward to seeing y'all soon. I, I just got this before I signed off. Jerry Lynn, thank you. Seven of Swords, leave some toilet paper on the shelves for others. <laughs> thank you so much for letting us end with some humor. Fabulous. Thank you so much.